Custom Tools offers a fully custom property pane that can be customized for model, assembly, part, drawings and weldments are also supported. If you are using the SOLIDWORKS configuration, then you are able to define custom properties specifically for each configuration. For example, this can be used to generate a drawing name per configuration. I can create my own list of sequences that can, for example, be used to generate a document code. I can also connect, uh, generate the next item code inside my ERP because Custom Tools allows you to connect to almost any kind and type of ERP, for example, to import values from your ERP into your custom properties, so you can synchronize the items. So if the items are synchronized, then the, if the value is modified on the ERP side, they will automatically be updated in the storage drive documents. You can also use Custom Tools to create new items directly from SolidWorks. I can create like different types of lookup lists, so from a single lookup list where the values are defined by the users, or I can also retrieve the values listed in my lookup list. Um, I can retrieve them from an external database, or I can also define the so-called key value pair. So key value pairs allows me to associate a value to, for example, a number. This can be used for file naming, for example. So if I select now the John Steele, the number automatically switches to 3, which is associated to that particular custom property value. I can use any of my custom property to generate a file name, so I can combine multiple custom properties to create a new one. Here I have this custom property marked as red, it can be used for example to force cert the designers to define certain custom properties before being able to save the document. So here I have a dictionary. So this is a language dictionary that can be used for example to translate uh, my drawings. So the dictionaries are fully customizable and the dictionaries can be the drawings can be for example translated during my batch printing and conversion operation. I can define my own revisions. I can also quickly insert the date here. And I can also retrieve some default custom property value from SolidWorks. For example, here I have the mass. And if, for example, I select a custom property, then the custom property values here update based on the active documents. I can also quickly insert the dates and have some kind of different kind of logic. There is also a lot of different tools that can be used to customize your custom property pane. Custom Tools offers numerous ways to generate a file name. I can, for example, use any of my custom property to generate a model file name or a drawing file name. I can define an unlimited number of sequences, so the sequences can be shared between the different designers, which means that a number can only be generated once and cannot be overwritten by a different designer. I can, for example, also associate multiple custom properties to generate advanced file names. So for example, here I have a key value pair. So key value pair allows me to associate a value from this lookup list to, for example, a number. So for example, this Martin's manufacturing correspond to one, and here I have the customer code. So for example, if I select here the furniture house, then I can see that the 02 has automatically been inserted. So here this file name is the custom property used to name my document and as we can see I'm combining using the customer code associated with the document code. So now we will save the document. So you can define also a default folder. Now I just click save and the document is being saved. So now we can have a look at the custom options where the file naming rules are defined. So here under the sequences I can define a sequence, for example we call it um, omega, for example. I can define a maximum value, for example, 1000, and then the next value. So, for example, I can decide that the next number generated will be 500, and then I decide, define how the sequence will be generated. So, I can have some, for example, some constant value, and then define how the code will be generated. Then here under the project I can define my file naming rules. So I can use any of my custom property to generate a file name. So for example here I'm select using the file name custom property. I can define a default folder where the file will be saved by default. 
and then I can define the file naming rules for the drawing. So for example, I can use the name, the reference model name. So the name of the drawing will be the, na the same name used uh, to name my um, part and assembly of the referred drawing. Or I can use a custom property value of the drawing here, or use a custom property of the reference drawing um, 3D model here. So this can be used, for example, if I am using multiple configurations, then I am able to generate a drawing name per configuration. I can also define my own project with different naming rules. Custom tools allows me to manage my files with more consistencies and to define some projects, for example. The project can be used to define some default custom property values as well as some default sequences which are associated with the project. So for example here if I select the custom property, custom tools automatically offers me the possibility to automatically load the default values of the last used project which I'm going to load here. I can also use, for example, some different projects that I have defined. I can define some sub-projects as well. So here I have like the document code that's automatically be generated. I will generate fill this custom property here. And now I will save the document. So here I go to the default folder that I have defined for that project. I save the documents. And here we can have a look at how the projects are defined. So here I have the project. I can add a new project. And here I define the uh, file naming rules associated with that project and then I can define some default values for the parts, the assemblies or the drawings. You can use the custom structure to export uh, assembly assembly structures outside SOLIDWORKS. So for example, if you have connected your ERP to SOLIDWORKS using custom tools, you're able, for example, to export and write this bill of material inside your ERP. Or you can also produce Excel report just outside SOLIDWORKS. The bill of material that we see here is fully customizable with uh, your custom tools properties or SOLIDWORKS properties. You can define like different type of report. If you have connected um, SOLIDWORKS to your ERP. You can also use this tool to create new items directly inside your ERP. So for example, when I will export this bill of material, if some of the items that are listed here do not exist in your ERP, you have the possibility to directly create them also when the bill of material will be returned inside your ERP. You can use the custom prints to batch convert and batch print your SOLIDWORKS document. So here I have all the drawings and files related to that assembly. So I can select all the sheets or then if I want to print specific sheets I can select for example DXF. Then all the sheets called DXF will be printed. I can also convert all my documents in multiple formats at once so I can select all those formats. In addition, I am, I am able to define the layer visibility, so I am able to set some layer on or some other layer off during my batch operations, allowing me to print certain layers. I can also modify the custom properties of the, my documents. So here, for example, I have the customer. If I want to modify the customer, this custom property will be applied to all the drawings, or for example, I can modify the printing dates. In the additional options, I am also able, for example, to translate my drawings into different language. So all the custom properties retrieved from my dictionaries will be translated. And then I, mean, I can also convert the sheet format. So for example, if I want to convert the sheet format that I have made for a specific user, for example, for a specific customer, to convert it into another format it is possible or I can also reload an existing sheet format if I have made modification to an existing one. So now we can have a look at the print and conversion profile. So here I have one profile. So with custom tools I am able to associate a sheet format 
so which I'm going to select here, for example this A landscape format and I can associate it to a specific printer. So for example if I select this HP color laser it means that all the drawings or end sheets which are using the sheet format will be printed to that printer. I can also select an output size and an orientation. So with custom tools your your sheets are always printed to the right printer, right size and right orientation. So here I have the batch conversion, so for example I can create a new one that we are going to call PDF2. I can select my sheet format and here in the target file name I will define where the file will be stored. For example here I can create some subfolder. And also I can define how the file will be renamed. So for example I can use the source file name and I can associate it for example to any of the custom property value of my model or drawing. For example, if I want to have the, um, the revision number and I want also to have the, for example, the sheet number here. For PDF, it is possible to also embed all the file into the same target file if I want. If you are starting a new project and wishes to use some old SOLIDWORKS design file, you can use a custom copy to copy, rename or move an assembly and all refer document at once. So for example here I can select all the documents to be copied and I can here for example um, generate a new code using one of the sequences that I have defined and here we can see that the name also have been updated. So the custom copy uses exactly the same uh, file naming rules that you have defined in custom tools. With custom tools you are now able to quickly customize your drawings or your drawing templates. So now we are going to see how we can quickly insert the custom properties defined for our uh, model, so part and assembly, into our drawing. So for example here I just need to for example, select a custom property here, click inside my drawing and type enter. So it is that easy to just insert a custom property inside the drawing. So when I insert a view, for example here I take this view, I insert it here, the custom properties are automatically filled. I can also insert custom properties from my drawing uh, from my drawing, and also the revision table. So for example if I want to insert the revision table here, so now I have the revision table inserted here. It can sometimes be frustrating having to type the same nodes over and over again. This is why Custom Tools offers the possibility to store all the nodes made by the different designers into the Custom Tools database. So here we can view the nodes defined by all the different users. I can also decide to view the nodes made by specific user. For example, if I want to view the nodes made by Robert or for example the one made by Paola. So for example, I can um, select the nodes here and I insert it uh, using a letter, so I just click here inside my drawing and then insert the nodes. So the nodes can be modified, also new nodes can be add added. And this is will also bring, this tool will also bring consistency to your design team as everyone is using the same set of nodes. I can use a custom where used to identify where some part or assemblies have been used. So for example if I select a part within my assembly and then click on the custom where used, I can see that this particular part has one drawing and has been used in three other assemblies here. Custom tools allows the users to have multiple drawings for the same parts and assemblies and the links are never broken. 
So this, for example, allows you to make like one drawing per configuration, and you're able to, for example, here if I select a part of my assembly, click on the custom open drawing. Custom tools tells me that two drawings have been made for that particular selected part, so one for the left configuration and the other one for the right configuration.